Scholastic Books is absolutely kicking Marvel and DC Comics ass in bookstores. One million percent. This is a really cool article. It finance website. It goes into how uh, basically comics have been so successful for Scholastic, what they call comics. It's really like kids' graphic novels. I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, have really kind of remade Scholastic. Scholastic's doing great. And when you look at the top sales of graphic novels, it's like, well, it's all Scholastic pretty much. And a huge percentage of it is this guy, Dogman, who's considered to be a superhero. I'll get into the whole article. You'll see what I'm talking about. If you want to support my work, subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications. It's a huge help to me. And check out College of the Dead. It's at collegeofthedead.com. It's my 48-page full-color graphic novel. And also sign up at epicmermaids.com for my new series called The Mermaids, a 48-page full-color graphic novel coming out. It's like Game of Thrones with mermaids. You'll definitely love it. Back to the article. How media and comic books should remake Schoolastic books. And it already is remaking Schoolastic. They're killing it. And they're killing it with Dogman who they consider to be a superhero. All right, but let's get into the article a little bit first. Scholastic Corp has long been synonymous with books and book fairs in schools. I mean, for decades and decades. You know, when I was a kid, Scholastic. You got the little catalog, you got to fill it out, you got to buy some books. Over the years, the company has released many books for children. All kinds of like, uh, you know, young kids booky kinds of things. But... They're getting more and more into graphic novels. So the last few years have seen the company dominate in graphic novels and comics, along with children's books. A new slate of media properties based on the company's intellectual property could put the stock on the spotlight. And this is like a, a stock tip kind of thing, like, hey, put an eye on uh, Scholastic because what they're doing is working. Now, interestingly, um, the comic book industry likes to brag um, and say, hey, you know, we're get, we've got great record sales. Look at our sales from 2012 to uh, 2019. But when they include all their sales, they're including a bookstore graphic novel sales, which includes Scholastic, and it includes other graphic novel publishers and comic publishers that you would never, like people you would not necessarily have heard of. Sure, you've heard of My Hero Academia, okay? And that's like number 20 on their top sales list for 2019. Um, and that's 98,720 copies. People in comics have definitely heard of Viz Media before. But look at what they're selling for the most part. This is units. This is number of copies sold in 2019. Now, these numbers come from NPD BookScan. NPD BookScan is the gold standard in the point of sale tracking system for the publishing market, it covers approximately 85% of trade print books sold in the U.S. through direct reporting from all major retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, Target, independent bookstores, and many others. So this has got a huge chunk of actual books sold in these numbers in 2019, physical books sold. Now, you're looking at Dogman, if you're like me and you're interested in publishing, you can go to uh, Schoolastic's website. This is Dogman number one. Uh, what... I just heard about Dogman last year, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't I haven't been tracking Scholastics comics and graphic novels. This is considered a comic. This is from the guy who did Captain Underpants. There's a brand new breed of justice in town, he's ready to sniff out criminals as soon as he stops chasing his own tail. New from the creator of Captain Underpants is Dogman, the crime biting canine who is part dog, part man, and all hero. Alright, so you know, it's a ten dollar book. So they're selling of one co of one title, their first book, Dogman for Whom the Ball Rolls. Okay, it's kind of funny. Um, so this is Dogman One. Frankly, I don't I don't know which Dogman this is. You know, they're up to God knows how many Dogman titles. I didn't do a lot of research for this, but nine or ten of them or whatever. Look at this, Dogman for Whom the Ball Rolls, a million plus copies. Dogman Brawl of the Wild. Uh, 789,000 copies. Now, start right here, okay? When they say that comics are doing 1.2 billion in 2019, comics and graphic novels top, novel sales top 1.2 billion in 2019. They're counting 10 million alone is this one book for Dogman. In fact, it's even more than 10 million. It's more like 11 million is from uh, one Dogman book. 
And then there's 789,000 graphics as an imprint, a publishing imprint name that for graphic novels and comics that um, Scholastic uses. Uh, and, they, and Scholastic has several other titles as well. So uh, great observation here. Okay, uh, let's underline just how huge Dogman is. These eight volumes, so there's eight Dogman books so far, uh, together represent 16% of all comics. So when they say comics, they're including this. It's from Captain Underpants Guy. That's what it looks like. It's fine. I have no problem with it. But that, you know, just so we know what it is they're actually talking about, what the product is. So Dogman represents all 16%, those eight Dogman books in the series, is 16% of the total number of comics and graphic novels sold through NPD book scan. So, and, and what are their dollar numbers? The dollar numbers are up here. 2019, calculated retail value, 399 million retail. All right, now, there are plenty of other graphic novels that are listed through the book trade. You know, there's, um, look at this, um, 40,745 different, like ISBN numbers, different physical products. Eight of them represent 16% of this number. That's how almost $400 million. So when they say graphic novel sales top 1.2 billion, 400 million of that is going through bookstores. And 16% of that is straight up just dog man. See, so it's like, it's interesting to get a perspective of that. And how much is that? Uh, 16% times four, that's 64 million in retail. That's the dog man machine pushing out dog man books. So of that is, you know, Walking Dead uh, graphic novels and stuff like that, collections and stuff, but it's not in the top 20. You know, it's not. The only thing make, making it to top 20 that I recognize really is Viz Media's uh, My Hero Academia vol volume one. And this is sales for one year, okay? So that just kind of puts it into perspective a little bit. You know, you can't really be crowing about the comics and graphic novel market when so much of it is something that has nothing to do with what we traditionally understand as comics to be. Getting back to uh, Scholastic, Scholastic is, uh, now they're starting to get into exploiting their intellectual property for film and TV, which is pretty interesting. Scholastic is not new to licensing out its properties for television and movies. Properties like Clifford the Big Red Dog, Magic School Bus, and Goosebumps have turned into shows and movies. TV shows. A new shift to creating content for streaming providers bodes well for a company like Scholastic as it has rights uh, to the content that makers need. Yeah, content makers need rights. They got rights. But more than rights, they have stuff that's been tested, you know, books that they've sold. So other than Dogman, you know, they have Ghost, Sisters, Smile, Boy Crazy Stacy. I don't know what Boy Crazy Stacy is, but they got it, you know. It, it's theirs to do deals with. Um, and Okay, so they already have uh, The Babysitter's Club, which is a classic book um, from uh, a classic book series. They sold tons of those books through Scholastic. A new deal for Scholastic's uh, anamorphous book property is noteworthy. In June, Scholastic partnered with newer media company Picture Start to reboot Anamorphous into a live action property. The series became a television show back in 1998 that aired on Nickelodeon. New publishing efforts for Anamorphous also include a graphic novel of the first book due out in October. Of course it does. The graphic novel is great for them to move their properties. Eric Feig, uh, who he previously at Lionsgate from Alaska Entertainment and oversaw teen properties like Twilight and the Hunger Game franchises, is the CEO of Picture, Picture Start and could be just the man to turn Anamorphous into a blockbuster media property. The Magic School Bus, which recently launched as a new series on Netflix, will also get the big screen treatment. Boom. So you see, like, distribution's really important. Scholastic has proprietary distribution. Scholastic has distribution where they can move a lot of any book that they choose to move through their own network where they sell through their book clubs and sell through schools. 
that's really proprietary to them. Other people and other publishers do as well sell to Scholastic to resell. Uh, Scholastic recently made a licensing deal with Marvel to do uh, some graphic novels of their characters just for Scholastic's distribution. Um, but other publishers will sell their licensed projects to Scholastic. And, you know, Scholastic will buy some. They'll, they'll pick and choose what they want. Um, but they control the major distribution. There's plenty of uh, publishers that also sell to bookstores. Uh, but Scholastic has a lock on this because they have that direct-to-consumer market. Scholastic and Universal are hoping this family-focused brand will appeal to the people who grew up with the brand. A large consumer products program will be launched for the property with apparel, toys, and science kits planned. Of course. Of course it will. Walt Disney options Scholastic property uh, Upside Down Magic to turn into a Disney Channel original movie. Josephson Entertainment and Twas Entertainment partnered with Scholastic on a live-action hybrid movie based on Ghost Squad. When you hear comic books, you probably think of big players like DC and Marvel, maybe even Comicscape. Scholastic is becoming one of the larger players in comics and graphic novels thanks to its built-in target audience of teens and preteens. The company's Dogman book series has been one of the hottest properties for kids and is topping the charts. It's amazing. 16% of all comics and graphic novels is freaking Dogman. Amazing. It looks like it's a fun book. Um, I mean, it's worth checking out, really. Maybe there's something to learn from it. You can always learn from new things. Dogman topped the charts. We saw that with For Whom the Bell Tolls selling 1.1 million copies. Six other Dogman books were also in the top 10 for sales. Total of eight. The Dogman series from the graphics imprint, a producer of graphic novels for kids that is owned by Scholastic. Okay, the books are written by Dave uh, Pilkey, author of Captain Underpants. We figured that much out. Um, Jeez, look at this. For the fifth year in a row, Scholastic was the bigger, biggest Western publisher on BookScan's list. With a 40% market share, Scholastic outpaced the competition by a wide margin. This is impressive since Scholastic only started producing comics in 2005. Scholastic had 73 comics in the top 750 selling properties. How is it possible that Scholastic has a 40% market share of graphic novels? It's because while Scholastic in 2005 was like, oh, this is a cool market. Let me start making some graphic novels. And they're figuring out what they can actually sell. Um, you know, Marvel and DC went in another direction, just doing bizarre things. Um, and now Scholastic is dominant with a, a massive 40% market share. It's amazing. The company's 270 comic graphic novels sold 6.87 million copies to bookstores and Amazon an increase of 48.6% over the prior year. So they're up almost 50%, uh, bringing an estimated 88.9 million in retail sales. Wow. I mean, so they're really, they're really doing what they should be doing, making stuff that they know they can sell and keeping books in print and utilizing their exclusive distribution with their book clubs and their distribution to stores uh, and the distributions through um, schools. It's incredible. Scholastic's financial performance. Scholastic's revenue rose uh, 4% in the third quarter of 373.3 million. Uh, slower season, okay, it's a slower sec seasonal quarter for the company. Scholastic pulled its guidance due to the big health event, but it said it's aggressively reducing costs. So it's it's, saying that they can't predict. It was when they removed their guidance, they can't predict exactly how much money they're gonna make or how much they might lose, and they are gonna cut back on a lot of costs. Scholastic has also shifted uh, to help provide teachers and parents with learning resources at home. Well, that's nice. As millions of students stop going to in-person classes, the fourth quarter will show how big of an impact the health event had on Scholastic. Scholastic's shares are down 27% in 2020. And that's interesting. The closure of schools could be a major headwind for the rest of 2020 and provide uncertainty into the back-to-school season, for sure. Smart licensing and media deals are a great positive sign for the diversification away from school-related revenue. As long as they have competent people uh, running their licensing and um, their media deals, which I can only assume they do. I'm not making investment advice here, but if they do, if they happen to have competent people doing that and they have 40% of the book trade, um, 
a market share and, and you can look at these numbers right here so they've got 40 percent of a third of the market that's a big 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 chunk of the market because obviously this is profitable for scholastic to sell a million copies of one freaking dog man book it's obviously incredibly profitable for them. Perfect for them, terrible for the other major companies trying to compete with them. Let me know what you think of this video. Did you know all this about Schoolastic? Or, or less, I don't know. You tell me, tell me what you think. I'll put it in the comments below. Definitely subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications, and go ahead and check out collegeofthedead.com. This book is ready to ship right now. And sign up at epicmermaids.com. Uh, the Mermaids is coming out soon. It's an epic mermaid fantasy. It's Game of Thrones with Mermaids. 48 pages, full color, coming out soon. I will see you soon with another video, and if I don't see you, I will miss you.